Hey guys, just real quickly, I got this sample in the mail a few days ago, Bulgari um, Tigar from the Legion collection. And before I say anything else, let me just say right off the bat, I love this. <laughs> um, this is a nice sample. Y'all don't really care about this necessarily. I'm sure you just want to hear about like the opinion of it and its smell, but this is nice, the uh, packaging that even the little sample came in. And it's a pricey one, so this does uh, reflect reflect the price. I think this is now like probably between like 300, around 300, to like 340 maybe. If you look online, I'm sure you could find better prices, but I love this one. And it came out in 2016. Um, and, you know, just a few notes listed. I could read about this later, but I'm, I'm really more concerned with just talking about my opinion of this sample that I have. 2016, so it's like grapefruit, ambroxan, and woody notes. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound complex, but however this is put together, it is done really, really well. I sprayed this many, many hours ago, way earlier today, and it's now like 2.45 in the next morning, and I could still smell it on this before I just sprayed it again on this for the review, and I could just bury my face in this. Um, like I said, I sprayed it, this piece of fabric earlier, but I just sprayed it again for this, and it's just so sexy. I find this very, very sexy. I know it's like basic notes or, you know, just a few listed, but this is, uh, it's sexy. And um, I did just spray it on my own skin too. And a lot of people say this could be unisex, like anything can. Um, yeah, I see that with this, but this is most definitely masculine. Um, even when I put this fabric on my face and I almost get like a taste of it in my mouth because I've been putting it up against my face and it, I get it's, I can even taste it. <laughs> it's a masculine fragrance. Um, not to say it can't be unisex, but just don't get it twisted that it's, it's definitely masculine. Um, and it's so super duper sexy. And okay, when I first sprayed it on my skin, I got a really nice burst of um, the nice bright grapefruit. But this has a great longevity. Like I said, I smelt it on here still, and it has a trail because I could smell it, especially for a while at first. But then, as so many people mentioned, even if you think you're going nose blind, I had other people comment. And I don't mind that it smells masculine because everybody knows that I'm always checking out fragrances and they'll throw in their two cents too. And um, I, I don't think anyone doesn't like this. Um, no one that I've uh, come across and I just don't see how anyone could not like it. Uh, this is very, very sexy. So yeah, the grapefruit on my skin and it really softened up on my skin much or with my chemistry, maybe the Ambroxan with my chemistry, it's much softer on my skin than on this fabric, which the true same thing can be said for a lot of things, but uh, definitely so with this. Maybe my skin was just really soaking. I don't know. I don't know. But on this fabric, um, it's interesting because orange is not listed, but on the fabric, I get like a spicy, juicy, juicy, woody orange. And as it was drying down too, and, and even now, um, this is just a sexy one. It's woody. It has it almost makes my mouth water it has a hint of like skin like the minerally metallicness muskiness of skin mixed with the woody notes and what kind of turns into more of an orange type smell to me on the fabric although whether on the fabric or your skin that initial opening is a nice very very bright uh grapefruit this just uh, to me there's nothing hard harsh about this it's not it's smooth it's sexy it's and i've seen where people say synthetic if you want to say synthetic it's synthetic in a good way um i could definitely put my face all up in some man's neck body shirt with this on 
it's just really, really nice. Um, it's almost, it's definitely like that juicy orange, like becomes orange, like woody and a bit sweet and spicy, but also like a bit like minerally or metallic. And it's just very sexy. I like this a lot. So, I mean, I saw um, certain other fragrances that people were making some comparisons to that I know what those fragrances smell like, but I'm not even going to mention that because although I can see where they're making comparisons to ones that were mentioned, to me, this is different and this is its own. This stands on its own. It's very sexy, very nice, great trail. Um, Pretty good with lasting power um, and just very, very attractive. So if, oh, oh, and I also want to add, even though this has the grapefruit note, like the grapefruit and broxen and woody notes, I think people automatically think, oh, grapefruit, um, fresh and summery. It's cold tonight right now. Um, it's November and it's, we've had a nice day, but it's pretty cold outside right now. This is nice in the cool air. I can say that I don't think that this is um, just because of like the citrus, the grapefruit, that this is specifically summertime. Although I uh, look forward to smelling it on somebody in the summer as well. This smells good in the cold weather right now. So don't think that this is just a summertime citrus. Because it's not the case. This is. Um, I think this could be worn at any time and be sexy and. Um, and it smells classy. It in no way uh, smells inexpensive or anything like that. It's, it smells classy. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like this one. So now that I've already given my opinion, I'll just tell you what it, oh, I didn't show you too. Like, so of course in this nice sample, it's a lot of packaging for a little sample. Um, you know, there's the bottle. And just says, drawing from the world of high jewelry, Bulgari elevates the art of high perfumery with the Le Gem collection, a magnificent and luxurious sensorial experience, celebrating nature's most exquisite gems and ingredients by creating precious olfactive jewels. The uh, art of high per perfumery, one of the most coveted fragrances of the collection, Le Gem Tigar, represents a journey to Kerala, the Spice Garden of India, I hope I said that right, inspired by Tiger's Eye, a gold-brown gemstone, connecting humanity to the vibrations of the sun and the earth, the Eau de Parfum captures this duality. Um, yeah, like I said, a nice grapefruit opening, but I, for whatever reason, get like more oranginess, uh, spicy, kind of sweet, orangey with the woody kind of skin, musky, metallic, or minerally. Oh, just very, uh, very classy and very sexy and masculine to me. And I really like it. So, um, yeah. So if you don't mind the price, I recommend it. Um, if you do mind the price, and that's understandable, then, um, you could look into things that, that uh, you know, have similarities that people mention in other videos. But um, I like this for for this. So I don't even want to mention any other fragrances. I like it a lot. Um, and that's it. Like and subscribe. See you next time.